And don't worry about the Knicks, because it's your boy Chris with the Knicks. All right, quickly, I just want to talk about the whole Chester Bennington situation from Lincoln Park. Um, you know, Lincoln Park, you know, growing up in fifth grade, uh, in the end, song came on. <laughs> that was everybody's Tupac thing. Um, if he was growing up in the early 2000s. And, um, you know, Lincoln Park was uh, a, a great band. Still was a great band. You know, we all, you know, rocked to it. As Like I said, growing up as a kid. And then, I guess they paved the way for people like Simple Plan and Good Charlotte. And so forth and so forth, you know. And I just, um, you know, like, mental illness for a lot of people is, you know, real. Like I, t- I spoke about. Uh, Malia Campbell from In the House, you know, I spoke about that, and you know, he had six kids. You know, I just wish he would have, you know, got some help for that, just stayed a little bit longer for that. I know a lot of people said he was um, very shaken up about the loss of his best friend Chris Cardell from Soundgarden. A lot of people were trying to speculate that they it was lovers or whatever. Hey, you know, I doubt that, but <clears throat> like I said, losing somebody you care about is really hard. But like I said, he had six kids and a wife. I would wish he would have got some type of help for that. You know, I don't know. Sometimes you don't know what's going through people's minds. Sometimes people replay things that happened to them as kids or teenagers, something traumatizing, somebody putting them down. If you're around people like that, you know, leave them, you know, try to get to like a shelter or somewhere where, you know, you're not around them. So it's easier for you not to think about what happened to you. It's easier to forget, you know, once you're not surrounded by negative negativity. I know a lot of us go through that. A lot of us have people or things that just happened and you can't quite shake them. And sometimes... Happiness, it starts with you, it starts with inside of your mind. You know, you can have all the fame and money and still not be happy. A lot of people keep saying, oh, you have the fame, the money, the looks. That's not enough for people. It's literally something else or something going in their mind and they need to, it needs to be addressed and dealt with. You know, you have to think about the beauty for your life. And the beauty inside your mind, you know, you know, like I said, you can tell people, oh, just get over it. Oh, you know, it's not that bad. Oh, other people have it worse, which is true. And sometimes that does help people feel better, but some things are easier said than done. Some people, you know, when you think of negative things, it's just, uh, it's just a process. It's just a habit. You know, once you, like, you don't wake up just playing the clarinet or flute, you know, that takes practice. So when you have to think, when negative things come in your past, you know, forget about it. Keep thinking about the good times. Because eventually, you know, you keep thinking about negative stuff so long, you'll forget all the good stuff that happened. Like, you going to the beach, or even if it never happened again with uh, certain people, you know. You going to the beach, you going to... Or just hang out, you know, all of those things because you're so worried, so they focus on something that's very minuscule that, that got under your skin. Well, you need to get it from up under your skin, you know. Uh, you know, this is a real thing, it happens, you know, but suicide is not the answer. Uh, you know, like I said, it's just, it's really, you know, it's really devastating. However, uh, this should be a lesson to people. This should be a thing that should not keep continuing. Uh, you know, he hung himself. You know, rest in peace. But uh, like I said, mental illness is real. Might do another video on it, on it separately. You know, a little longer because a lot of people go through it. Not just rich and famous, 
regular people, um, people in general, you know, it, it's very real, you know, it, 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 you keep thinking about things that you should have shaken off a long time ago. Sometimes you could totally forget about it, and sometimes, you know, if something could trigger it. Most likely it's usually people, and that negativity usually lifts the rust because sometimes people who did negative things to you forgot what they did it to you. So, it's always just best to get help and just talk to people who actually care about you. You know, keep the ones that actually help and support you close. And the ones that don't, tell them to keep on walking like Cece. <laughs> Any comments, questions, concerns, leave in the comment section below. Till then, this has been your boy, Chris with the next. Peace.